We turn now to the latest developments in the Idaho student killings. Recently released court documents reveal chilling new details from the morning of the stabbings, including one of the survivors saying she saw the killer and heard her roommate crying. ABC's Jillian Smuckler has the story. One of the two roommates who survived the November stabbings told investigators she saw a masked man dressed in black in the house the morning of the attack. The roommate says she heard what sounded like one of the victims, Kaylee Gonzalez, playing with her dog upstairs around 4 a.m. Shortly after, she claims Gonzalez said something to the effect of, there's someone here. She says she looked out of her bedroom but didn't see anything. Shortly after, she says she heard crying and a man say, it's okay, I'm going to help you. That's when she opened her door again and saw a masked man dressed in black walking towards her. She claims the man walked past her and she just stood there, shocked and frozen. She says he walked towards the back sliding glass door and she locked herself in her room. The affidavit is also giving us new insight into how investigators narrow down the search for the suspect, Brian Koberger. A Washington State University officer found a 2015 white Hyundai Elantra registered to Koberger in an apartment parking lot. They say his driver's license information and picture matched the roommate's description. Investigators also took trash from Koberger's family home in Pennsylvania and sent it to the Idaho State Lab for DNA testing. They say the DNA found in the trash matched a tan leather knife sheath found laying on the bed of one of the victims. Police say Koberger was also linked to the scene through cell phone pings, showing he was in the area of the murders at least 12 times before the morning of the killings. That was ABC4's Jillian Smuckler reporting. Koberger wrapped up his first court appearance in Idaho this morning. He's now being held without bail, and the next status hearing will be in one week.